So, I have a question for you all. Okay. Mm. What do you bring to the table? Uh oh. Karma, I should have warned you, TK. Karma's good for these surprise. <laughs> That's kind of deep. Um, what do you what bring, do you bring to, the to the table as a wife? Wow. Oh, as a wife. What yeah, do just like, table? what do you bring to the table? Because today's conversation, we're going to get into uh, marriage, the yeah. first year of marriage, yeah. what it's like being a wife. So mm-hmm. what do you bring to the table? We'll start with you, Ko. Thank Ooh, you. with me, Ko. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's my name. Um, I would say I bring calm. Mm. Ooh. You know, the men out important. here saying they want peace. That's I think big. I do bring peace to my home. Okay. to my husband and my children um how do you do I that think, like give yes, me some please. advice so i am naturally a very easygoing yes like laid sure. back i go with the flow i don't libra. need all the detail i'm a libra Still. i'm a libra yeah. yeah so it comes natural so i don't mm-hmm. have to do anything i'm just a naturally go along to get along i'm not gonna cause a fuss type okay. of person yeah that's what's up i'm gonna take some notes no that's so big what about I, you i feel like every husband's answer would be they need peace uh-huh so you just say you're every man's don't dream. ask him though we'll see <laughs> <laughs> but, are they, but are they bringing peace? Well, that's the whole thing. Are the men bringing peace? Are they peace? providing the environment? Hello. Oh, environment. We can get into right. it, right. okay. honey. But I'm going to let you yeah. answer the question first. Um, the first thing that came to mind was for sure a nurturer. I okay. definitely encourage growth with anyone that I'm attached to. But for sure, my husband, I would definitely say that he could say as well that he has grown mm-hmm. since being with me. And uh, a very practical way that I have been doing that is honestly my words. Mm-hmm. So my husband is a real big words of affirmation guy. Like, I don't have to do anything but just call him daddy you are great you're about to do this <laughs> oh my gosh did you do that that right. is amazing so honestly just pouring into him like putting putting all my energy into like the 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 wisdom behind my words my body language when i'm mm. saying it all of that so yeah i would definitely say a, a nurturer for sure okay encouraging growth so for me i'll say i think i bring joy okay. i think i bring joy to the situation i'm a fun person i like to do stuff i like to explore new things and i feel like sometimes men aren't really into that like they're focused yeah. on their work mm-hmm. and like providing and all of that good stuff so i'm like okay babe we're about to take a trip to the beach yeah relax you know take off you know that kind of thing so that's the that's the vibe i bring but the reason hmm. i asked that question i knew there was a reason <laughs> it's a trick it's, it's a, a trick, trick. question it's oh a trick. okay all right so there's a post that's floating <laughs> around social media i'm not going to read the whole thing but essentially it talks about a man buying his wife an engagement ring hmm. um and it was thirty five thousand dollars Okay. And so somebody looked at the wife and said, for that investment, what does the man get in return? And Mm. essentially, this person who made this post said, you need to stop asking women what they bring to the table. Mm. Because if you don't know the value of a wife, you don't deserve one. And essentially, the second you begin to try to quantify a person's value, you're no different than a slave master assigning a price tag to a slave. So this person is advising you, ladies out there, to stop answering the what do you bring to the table question. Oh, so we weren't supposed to answer that. What do y'all think about that? (laughs) What do y'all think about that? Are we supposed to just stop answering that question? I disagree with the post. Okay. And the reason I disagree, I I think that that feeds into the woman is the prize yeah. and the men are just ain't shit. Right. They should be happy to have a woman right. kind of theory sure. of like, uh-huh. don't even question what I bring. I mean, enough. Sure. I think that is a toxic that girl. mentality. Yeah, yes. I think that's toxic. That's yes. toxic okay. mentality. What about you? Yeah, it makes me even think about when, when, when women are talking about what they desire out of a man, it's mm-hmm. like, 40 things on the list and then it's like what do you bring and it's like well I'm cute I can yeah. submit and half the time they ain't doing that either that <laughs> I can follow <laughs> and all of those things I think it actually challenges us to think like yeah. what do I bring outside mm-hmm. of having a vagina and being a woman what do I actually bring what to qualities do I have and I think even for me answering that type of question makes me think about what I don't have like what Ooh. what is lacking what is missing because my mind quickly wants to think about what is the right answer oh yeah. I submit and I say yes and I cook and it's like but do you? And sometimes mm. it's not even true. What we, what sometimes true. what we think about ourselves yes. might not even really be the That's reality. Why I said don't ask him because sure. yeah. I don't know what his answer <laughs> might be. <laughs> so good job, ladies. You kind of sort of passed, but not really. <laughs> not really. Um, okay. Anywho, let's get into some tea time. So I saw something online and it went viral, where a young lady wore a wedding dress, a white dress, to somebody's wedding. 
She's a guest. A wore guest. a white dress to That's a wedding. That's correct. Okay. A guest. And everybody was getting it on film. And she was like on the dance floor having the time of her life. And the bridesmaids and everything were like in the corner, like me mugging her, like, I can't believe you're still here. Yeah. So if that happened to you all, what would you do? Would she have even made it to the dance floor I was at I was your wedding? The bridesmaids didn't turn into the bride gang. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because for me, why did she make it that she far? She wouldn't have stayed there. Not at all. Yeah. At all. Yeah. When you talk about wedding etiquette, that's just, to me, that's just incredible. And I think we have a video of it, and I think it's going to play later um, on. No, it's going to play right okay, now. Okay, okay. Okay, awesome. Did you guys think that was the bride? It wasn't. That was the bitch that wore a wedding dress to somebody else's wedding. <laughs> and she's still here on the dance floor with that dress. And yeah, so that's that. So that's our bride. That's the bride. <laughs> and that's not the bride over there. And she still has no clue, like no clue. The bride's like, wait, what? For everybody that thinks it's okay, shame on you. It's not okay. Okay, maybe at your wedding or whatever you did, you had people wear white dresses. Well, good for you. But proper etiquette, look it up. You do not wear white. Girls don't wear white. They just do not at another person's wedding unless it is a white wedding. That's totally different. If you say we want everyone to wear white or the bridesmaids wear white, obviously that's okay. But you should not show up to somebody else's wedding wearing a white dress, specifically that type of wedding dress. It's, it's unbelievable.